Harper's Ferry, named for Robert Harper, who settled here in 1747 and operated a ferry. The site was purchased for Federal Arsenal and Armory in 1796. The famous John Brown's Raid in the Civil War brought national attention. This is also the post-war site of Storer College, and the National Park was created in 1944. We are taking the Lower Town Trail from the Harpers Ferry Visitor Center down to the town of Harpers Ferry, which we will come to the Appalachian Trail. We'll meet up with that, and that will actually take us through the town uh, to the, um, the Appalachian Trail Confluence Conference. Conference? The ACC headquarters. <laughs> headquarters. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that is what we are doing. You don't have to walk it. You don't have to walk it. There yes, you shuttle. can. There is a shuttle bus that will run you down to town, which will probably catch that shuttle bus back. But we're going to walk to the town this morning. It's nice and cool. It's not too hot. I would say it's like 70 degrees right now. Um, the humidity is low. It's just a really beautiful day. So we are going to the Appalachian Trail Visitor Center. Here we have a map of the whole Appalachian Trail. Showing where it starts down at Singer. Springer Mountain. This brick house was once part of the United States Armory Complex. Prominent Armory officials lived along this street. During Civil War, Union soldiers camped and drilled here. After the war, the house became the new home of the Odd Fellows, a fraternal and charitable organization.
the famous abolitionist John Brown and his raiders were trapped in this fire engine house. U.S. Marines battered through the door, wounded and captured Brown, and ended the raid. Just a few years later, the United States Colored Troops marched through Harper's Ferry to fight for the Union and for freedom. Oh, the big locust tree. So we are taking the Maryland Heights Trail. It's gonna take us to a nice overlook, uh, which I think we can see all of Harper's Ferry and the Potomac River and the Shenandoah River. It'll give us a nice view. However, I believe it's going to be pretty much straight up. Well, it has definitely warmed up. I would say that it is probably in the low 80s. But I am thankful that this trail is in the shade and there's a nice breeze blowing. I'm glad that we are not completely full sun exposure. <laughs> this trail is kicking my butt. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I think I'm in halfway decent shape, but I don't know. It is hot out here. All right, we're going to the Overlook Trail. This is a very popular hike. There have been lots of people on this trail today. After the long, hot hike, we could not resist to dip our feet in the cold Potomac River. 